This is Adam demonstrating on if he was being mugged by someone with a weapon, on how he could comply by keeping himself in a safest position, especially if there's not a threat and he can get away without having to um, be physical with it. And also, if he decides that this is a, um, a physical threat and he, he can't get away without getting injured, on how to control a weapon and keep it away from him and hopefully being able to take the weapon away from his attacker and leave. A lot of the movements that we practice and we uh, work to defend are common movements which are used by unskilled attackers, which is a, a straight thrust of a knife, a low underhand stabbing to the stomach or an overhead stabbing uh, to the neck or shoulder. Adam and David are moving into some stick defences, which could be anything from literally a stick to a baseball bat to any type of club, to literally a stick that's fallen off a tree. With a stick defence, Adam's moving in closer towards the attacker because it's a safer place to be, rather than at the, the end of the swinging range of the weapon where the most power is developed. For the most part, we only deploy enough force for us to get away, and, and that's it. Just, it's all about safety. We're moving into firearm defences. Um, the most important thing with a firearm defence is to deflect the weapon away from yourself and away from someone who's with you, so obviously you're not deflecting it towards them, and then disarming that weapon so that it can't be used against you again as you're running away. Firearm defences in Australia are a very high graded skill because it's not a, a threat that we often have to see. Um, most of the, the early training that we do is against a knife or a stick which is a, a more common threat to what we see. of someone trying to mug with a, a, an armed weapon, a firearm. So as it was coming in, he was being pushed. 